I recently relocated to Georgia. It's one of those friendly southern states where it's easy to be the new person because most strangers will pass you on the street with warm eye contact and a smile. That is until about a month ago when things got a whole lot more serious and a whole lot less friendly. The news of the coronavirus was changing every day and it was dominating the news just as it is right now at time of this filming. And I had gone to the Super Target that morning to get groceries and it was as if things had changed overnight. As I made eye contact with people in the store, most everyone looked straight ahead. It was as if I was just invisible. And the few people that did return my eye contact, I would smile compassionately and, and they would smile back. It was this mutual understanding, no words needed to be said. But I came home that day and I told my husband, I, we were kidding around saying, do people think they can get the coronavirus just by making eye contact with somebody? Well, fast forward two weeks later. Two weeks later, it was the day that the CDC was supposed to come out and, and say that they were going to recommend that everyone wear face masks in public. And it was right about the time that that news was breaking and I'd gone to the grocery store that afternoon and I didn't have a mask. But when I went in the store, I noticed about 50% of the people in there were wearing masks. And so all at once, I, I felt at risk. I felt a little fearful and anxious, and I wanted to get in and out of the store as soon as possible. And as I combed the aisles, I was trying to avoid co contact with people, and I was even avoiding eye contact. Why was I doing the very thing that just two weeks earlier, I couldn't understand why everybody else was doing? And then I realized it was because I was fearful. I was anxious. I was thinking about me and my needs and what was going on in my head. And there was another section of the store. I looked up and I saw a man on an aisle by himself holding a bouquet of flowers and reading a box of medication. And I paused and I thought, he's here for someone else. He's here for most likely a sick family member. And then I started thinking about what was going on in, in everybody's minds in the store. Everybody had their own story. Some people probably had just lost their job or, or their business had shuttered. Others were really concerned about how they're gonna make this through this financially. Others maybe were concerned because they had a sick family member at home or maybe a family member who is at risk, or maybe themselves are at risk. Or maybe they're truly isolated. They're all alone. And when they come out to the grocery store, that's really their only interaction with society. And I realized that at that time that my natural tendency is not to make eye contact right now. My natural tendency is to think about myself but I realized I had this nudging in my spirit that I want to be intentional. I want to make eye contact with other people. And if they avoid it with me, it's not anything intentional on their part. It's just that they're thinking about what's going on in their heads and their lives. But for me to make eye contact with others is a way to connect with strangers at this time at this time when we do strive for connection with others. So social distancing, it sounds like it's gonna be here for a while, but it doesn't mean that we can't connect with others and we can do it so easily without even having to say a word.